you are a first-time home buyer and you want to know what the process is like from search to closing? Hi, I'm Lisa. In this video, we will review the home buying process from searching for your home to getting help, what to watch out for when you're in contract, to the final closing. This video is for home buyers in the United States. First, there is the search. There are a lot of tools on the internet to help you search for homes. The most popular ones include Redfin, Realtor.com, Zello, and Trulia. On all of these platforms, you can create an account to save the homes that you like and to get notified when new homes come onto the market that fit your criteria. I recommend that you check out three of these and pick the one that you like the best and that has the most homes for your city. As you search for homes, you will progressively focus your search as you learn more about what you really need and want in a home. For example, you may start out interested in some neighborhoods, but as you learn more about the housing market, you may decide to narrow in one because you can get more house for the same amount of money. Most buyers refine their criteria as they search. And I recommend that you give yourself plenty of time to refine your needs. It's kind of like if you only have one minute in a candy store, you'll pick what you can see in a short period of time. But if you have time to shop the entire store, the chances that you'll pick the candy that gives you the most pleasure will be so much higher. Buying a home is a huge endeavor and you're going to need help. Unless you are wealthy, you are going to need to borrow money. A mortgage loan is one of the cheapest loans out there in terms of interest rate. And all major banks are in the mortgage business. You will need a pre-approval letter from a bank that states how much money they're willing to lend you before real estate agents will take you seriously. And banks will review your credit to decide how much they will lend you and how much interest they will charge you. So your credit score is really important. You need time to build up a good credit history earlier the better, so learn how to build a good credit score now. You also need professional help to make sure you do this process right, because there are a lot of opportunities for costly mistakes. Hire a good real estate agent, because that is your gateway to other professionals. You will need to hire a home inspector to make sure there is nothing major wrong with a house. And depending on your location, you may also need a lawyer. There will be documents to review that will be hard to understand. A good real estate agent can answer your questions or refer you to people who can. Once your offer on the house is accepted and you enter into contract, that's when the really important work begins. You want to execute due diligence to make sure that this is a purchase that you will not regret. For example, you want to inspect the house so that you know if there are problems with it, if there are maintenance issues that needs to be addressed. Hire a good inspector to do this for you. Some parts of the country may need specialized inspectors, such as those specializing in termites or roof, in addition to the general one. You want to review the land survey, which is a map of the land that you're purchasing. Know where your land boundaries are and what easements there are on your land. Easements are rights that other people have on your land, such as utilities and sidewalk. You want to make sure that you have a clear title on this house. Title is the legal right of ownership. If you buy this house, you want to make sure that you have legal ownership of this house and no one else has claims on it. You want to know what kind of flood risk you have because if the house is in a flood zone, you will need to buy flood insurance because regular home insurance does not protect against flood. You want to make sure that insurance companies will insure this house and how much home insurance is going to cost. And if you are purchasing a condo or property that belongs to a homeowner's association, make sure you read the HOA rules to make sure that they are acceptable to you. Because you will be legally bound to comply with those rules once you own this property. These are some major items that you need to review as part of your due diligence. Depending on where you are at in the country, there may be other things that you need to check out too. Your contract should have wording that allows you to back out of this contract if some of these things are not acceptable to you, but there's usually a time limit. So be sure that you understand your contract and the time limits specified in it. Finally, if everything checks out, you will close on the house. Closing is the process by which you and your lender gives money to the seller 
and the deed gets registered in the county to indicate that you now have the title to this house. This is the transfer of ownership legally. So that's an overview of the home buying process. There are a lot more to each of these steps, and my channel has videos to explain each in more detail. As a first-generation immigrant, I saw my parents regretting their home choices. So when it came time for Sugar King Dog and I to purchase our own home, I kind of turned into a control freak and did tons of research. So even if I'm not a real estate professional, I hope the knowledge I have gained can help you. Check out my channel to see what other videos can enrich your knowledge in this home buying process. If this is helpful, please give me a thumbs up, share this with your family, and subscribe. Click the bell to get notified when new content comes out. Thank you.